I am steaming. I am steaming. The ABC. Unbelievable. Hi, I'm Paul Barry, and the ABC is in trouble again. And it's not just Andrew Bolt who's steaming. Have a listen to Ben Fordham. His latest effort is one of the most despicable and irresponsible things I have ever heard. Wow. So, who is the culprit? Dr Norman Swan. Whom Bolt accused of... Pushing alarmist buttons. And this really burns me up. Talking about the death this year of a friend, Labor Senator Kimberly Kitching. Red alert. On Tuesday, Norman Swan was talking COVID on ABC Breakfast and a UK study showing an increase in heart attacks, strokes or thrombosis following infection. But it's what he bowled up next that was the wrong one. My view is that it's too much of a coincidence that Shane Warren and the uh, Labour senator in Victoria uh, died not long after uh, a COVID infection. I mean, people are reporting sudden death um, after a COVID infection. It's not benign. And Swan then doubled down, repeating the claim about Warren and Kitching's heart attacks to the Daily Mail. In a story headlined, COVID, Fearmonger's cruelest claim yet. But there was one big problem. Kimberly Kitching never had COVID. Whoops. Never, ever had it. What she did have was a thyroid condition. So, what says Swan? Well, sorry to the Kitching family for starters, adding, I 100% accept that I got it wrong. But he didn't retract his comments about Warney or say sorry to his family until this blast in the Herald had him offer an apology to them too. Now, Norman ate the first to suggest that Covid may have damaged Warney's heart. The Herald's son had a dip at it too. But when you don't have the evidence, speculating about how people died is just not on. As Ben Fordham said this week... Speculating is both disrespectful and dangerous. Because chances are you're going to upset family members and make a fool of yourself. And that is useful advice for everyone in the media, whether they are a doctor or not.